Good morning, everybody. This is Diane, Rosehaven Yarn Shop, and we are Sunday. Uh, Father's Day today, still a good day to knit, still a good day um, to be outside and enjoy uh, our papa. Uh, my husband is gone with my oldest on a canoe camping trip. So that's kind of cool. They'll spend time together and um, yeah. So good morning everyone. This is going to be a uh, video about my essentials. What do I like to have with me that are essentials? So uh, I'm just going to go through what's happening that I like and then I will let you go. I did not have students but now there's two of them. So let's do a quick one so I can tend to you guys and I can tend to them guys also. So in my essentials, one that I like to have is plastic pouches. This is where all my patterns are. And, uh, and then when they are done, they do go into a binder. In them, I do put my swatches. And I do, if there is many color, I love to do little cardboards. Uh, as you know or not, I'm a watercolorist. So I do have a lot of remnant. This is sort of a cardboard that's very nice. So in there, I'm just gonna poke holes. Often, if I'm using different type of yarn, I will put uh, the label, because sometimes if I just put the color, maybe I will not remember, and often I just don't remember because I'm just that type of person. And um, so this way I sort of have uh, the brand, and I do have a little bit of piece of, um, of what I knitted it with. Uh, oh, see, I even sometimes do put my row counter. <laughs> that's very convenient when you're looking for it and you don't know what it is, but that's where it is. Um, I do have several pattern on the go, so that's kind of what happens when we do that. Okay, essentials. When I started, like everybody else, I got the circular needle and then I ran out. Yes, I do agree with you that I teach, so I do need to have some on hand. But the first thing that I purchased was this knit pick, which is wonderful. You can have them in metal. I don't think we they, they do carry them in bamboo uh, anymore. But this is a screw on. Um, so you just screw cables and there's many, many lengths of cable. And the good thing about that is when you are done with a portion, well, I don't have anything, this is not a good, I'll show you with this one, is when you need to have your sleeves on to an extra piece of yarn, well, you can just have the cable, right? You unscrew the needles and then you have it right on there, which is very convenient. And then um, I did went to a higher end uh, needle. So my preferred one is the Aya Aya, but the Shia Guiz is good. The difference with them often is for the Aya Aya instant, in, in, in this case, is when you do have the cable, the cable do have a pivot for function. So when you are knitting, it doesn't roll as much because it, it has sort of a little bearing in there that does turn on its own. So that's very convenient. So that's, and what I like is that the tips are short. I'll show you the other one and you'll see the difference. There's quite, uh, let's put it against here so you can see. But there's, there's quite of a bit of a difference in length of them. At the beginning, you feel like you don't have enough needle, but after a while, you don't need that much, right? Because you're doing a stitch and then you're passing it along. So um, Aya, Aya is the brand that I like. I like their packaging. I think it's pretty. It's very sort of oriental with embroidery and depending the kit that you're getting, there's different uh, colors and yeah. So these, these are my favorite for sure. Um, what do I have with me all the time? Well, I've got your essential that I have a pen, a pencil, I've got highlighters because so important to mark in your pattern which size you're doing because if you're just a little bit with me or like me is after a while, if you're putting it on the side, you're forgetting which size that you were making. So with the highlighters, um, 
yeah, you, you don't get mixed up. And, and I'm a pen fanatic, so I've got different types of color pens. Uh, if you do, well, there's scissors, of course, and scissors in everywhere. I've got so many pairs of scissors. That's the thing that, uh, yeah, you, you never have enough for sure. This is a gizmo that I did purchase because um, before that two years that we all know what it was called, um, we used to travel quite a bit and on airplanes, this is a big no-no. You cannot bring scissors. They will confiscate them and they will take them away. This guy did not. So um, long story short, I purchased this guy in New Zealand, but now with Amazon, you can get everything everywhere. So the company is called Plus, like P-L-U-S. And what it is, it's a cap that you take off. And then this little gizmo, you push and slide down. Sorry, I'm just gonna angle it myself. And this is a pair of scissors. It looks, it looks flimsy, it looks like a toy. It cuts so well, you would not believe. So this is one of my essential that traveling always goes with me. It's funny, I don't have, oh yeah, I was going to say I don't have it, but no, I don't have it. There's the, there's a baby pair of scissors. They're about this long. I know you, you can't measure it, but this is an eraser just to, to tell you sort of the gauge. They're tiny, tiny. They're super cute. We have them upstairs and they're like either a cat or an octopus. And But the blade is super, super short. So those one would be good to travel also. And they do cut uh, very, very well also. Uh, essential wise for me are these hooks, U shape. And as you see, I did buy several because I do um, put them with different patterns and they come in all sizes. These are the ones that we have upstairs. So if you are cabling, I know there's many tools, but I, I'm talking to you because these are my favorite. Some people do like this guy as their favorite because it got it's got dents in it. So you're sort of sliding, leaving it on, putting at the front or the back. But these guys are, I don't know who thought about these, but I love that person, is um, when you are picking two, three, four, depending on your cable, and then you're just dropping it. You're dropping it to the front, you're dropping it to the back, and when you're ready, so you are picking it up with the short end, and when you're ready to cable, you just slide them, and then you have this longer edge that you're just taking uh, your stitch to do the cable. And as you remember, even if this is like uh, a lot smaller in size than what you're knitting with, the needle that you're knitting with is the one that's gonna give the size of your stitches, not the tool that you're using. So even if it's smaller, it just glides better, right? It's just easier. So obviously I showed you these. These are extra good because it gives you an extra uh, little tool on hand. And in the packaging, um, there's at least three of them. There might be four, but um, so they are always with me. So if you're losing a stitch and you wanna pick it up, it's super good because there is groove. So it will stay there. It's not just gonna fall left or right. And then uh, you can repair if you have a small repair. These guys, I don't rem I think we do have them on a keychain. Uh, they're different, but it's a, there's a hook at one end and the hook is facing the other direction in the other end. So I'll show you maybe the pink, here we go. This one is both end of the same. The reason why the hooks are different from one end to the other is if you are repairing into a vertical shape, these crochet are a wonder because you're grabbing it and then as you're flipping it, it just gives you the opposite if you're doing a knit and a purl, a knit and a purl. If they're all knitted up, you would use this guy because it just it's the same crochet on both ends. So that's one of my uh, other essential. These ones, uh, I know Leslie ordered them uh, because I showed it to her and she was like, ooh la la, ooh la la, and she did see them uh, online also. You've seen this because, which project was I doing? But I, I showed you these. So these are like tiny, tiny little uh, needles on both ends, but in the middle, when you touch it, it feels like those 
elastic for hair that will not hurt your hair or pull on your hair, but it's pliable. So that's what happens to it. So if you do are um, doing cabling, you can literally grab them, turn this, and it's not going anywhere, right? So this is sort of my, my new favorite tool that will take these guys, could take them out of my um, pencil case or these ones because this tool can sort of do everything. I would not do a whole sweater cabling with this guy. Uh, it would drive me nuts because of this, it, it, it moves too much, right? You always need a crochet. No publicity for, for that company, but they're the one that made it. Uh, so this is the Kakia, which is kind of good because it's on a keychain. You don't lose them. They're really easy to pick up and you have three different sizes. But I do have a baby one also uh, into my kit. I do, all my needles are on um, screw. So in the Aya Aya, they uh, give you those little plastic, which you can hold on to your needle. And then with the little gizmo. And if you lose that cute little key, if you do have an iPhone, you can use uh, the, the, the same tool. You can use um, a paper clip, uh, stuff like that. So there's different tools. But what I did for me is I put it on something that is bigger. So it's easy. Uh, it's easy to, to find it because if she's alone at the bottom of my pencil case, there's no way I'm going to find her. So this way I'm, you know, I'm looking for a big thing. And I do have some of these in almost all of my buckets and all of my because you always need to be able to screw back on your um needle because that's the worst is when they're they're starting to fall apart so there's crumbs in there but those sort of have uh, you know I, I always have my some of my favorite um doodad which are called a stitch marker for the for the real the real thing and other thing that i like to recycle is david's tea and again i don't want to make any publicity but these guys are perfect uh so if you do uh were gifted a calendar or different types so these are extra good to keep your doodads in or your buttons uh, if you're doing gnomes you'll need container um for me i did and it's funny because the person who, who gifted to me that little case is here and i did bring it to, show it to her but I'll, I'll show you uh, at the same time so when I do gnomes I do need buttons so this little case is kind of uh, extra good it's got little pockets everywhere and this is all for buttons okay other essentials showed you this upstairs and if you go on the website this is sort of the new I've never and I have to admit I've never been a lover of poking um, something at the end of the, my needles because often they would just fall off. The one that were done as a, a stitch topper before, in my mind, were not good enough and you're having too much work to have the risk of everything falling off your needle. These are my favorite. Uh, um, yeah, if I pull onto, this is always what my work is on is this tubes. So there's a slant in the tube and you're just poking both, oh, right here. You're just poking both of your needle in there. See? So as you're grabbing your knitting, you can grab it any way you want because it's not going anywhere. Because how many times have you grabbed your knitting and just the way you're grabbing it, everything is falling off. So this way, and see this one is just, I sat on it, the dog got it it's not as circular as it should be but it still works you just poke them in and there's even people like if they're doing a work with bigger needles they just have two and put one on each end right so um yeah those are wonderful but i've got to admit i got gifted these students of mine are just giving me stuff which is kind of cool actually but see i got these cool glasses and see i need to pull pretty hard to get it off so i'm not um yeah i'm not afraid anymore or put of putting these on and upstairs we've got anything and everything to pizza to oreo cookies to lamb to um 
they're so 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 cute so this is my new uh new bestie new love thing um we do have a lot of tools uh where what do we do with them oh i i did bring these down because these i honestly i do keep at home <laughs> but these are my favorite uh doodads they're mimicking a ball of knitting and what i love about those is sometimes when you do have metal little doodads they do have an opening and sometimes they catch into something they're great like don't get me wrong these ones are are phenomenal those are metal uh when i was talking about shiagu shiagu their stitch marker are these guys which are in in my top five for sure but these ones is kind of a cord uh, and then there's a ball hanging onto them they are my absolute favorite uh, stitch marker. The other little tools that are indispensable is often you're buying yarn and you do know what it is because you just bought it and then you're tr you're knitting with it. You do have a leftover. What do you do with your leftover? It goes in a bin and they all get in there and then suddenly it's like, oh, I just need a little bit of DK or I just need a little bit of worsted. But which one is which, you do not remember. So I do have... And there's more of those tools upstairs, right? Like you'll find the one that works for you. Um, so this one, the way that it's done is identifying, um, there's a sort of a small, small gap that your piece of wool can just sit in the crease. So for example, if I'm putting this little piece in there, it would tell me it's fingering. Because if I do put it in there, obviously it's not taking the whole space so this one is is sort of a cute one and at the same time they do tell you on this that if you're taking two pieces of lace together it's going to give you fingering so sometimes if you want to change the wool that you're using uh you could use that little gizmo just as a reminder because if you're thinking about okay if i'm doing uh let's say dk i would need two fingerings but what if i have lace and fingering what would be the recipe so that's kind of just a little tool to remind you the other one um, that I really like is this one. So there's a crease at the top, crease at the bottom. And what happens with this one is you are going to wrap. So you're wrapping um, and there is little teeth or little grooves up there, right? So you are wrapping one next to the other and they're telling you that per inch, so like the lace would be more than 16 wrap that you would do in that crease uh, for, um, uh, for that, that yarn size. Fingering would be 14 or so forth, so on. So this is a cute little one. Um, these are, what my daughter, when she was young, she had braces. Uh, these, guys, these guys are sort of hard to find, funny enough, they are, an essential if you are doing beads. If you're doing beads as you're knitting, these become your best friend forever because you cannot thread beads onto a needle because there's always the eye of the uh, needle that becomes way too big. These are pliable. Uh, so if you do go to the pharmacy, because that's usually where we get them, you see some, just grab one and put it in, in your uh, essential. At one point, you'll need it. And um, yeah, so it, it's mainly if you're doing beadwork, but works super nice. I did have my computer out, uh, or not computer, but the iPad. One that has become, and I do have to admit, one that has become uh, my essential is a knitting app. And uh, again, I don't want to do any publicity. It's just the one that I'm using and the one that works for me. I did have one, uh, let me sit still on there. It was just a row counter. Uh, I don't think I can see it, but it was mainly just a row counter, which was good, right? Because sometimes you just need the row counter. What I love with the Knit Companion um, the basic that comes is a yellow line. So the yellow line, let me just open one up right here. Uh, let's go into this guy. So I know it's going to give a reflection. Can you guys, not quite. Oh, 
well you do see the yellow line but you cannot sort of see what it does but the yellow line is mainly you put your finger and you're putting it on the line that you're working and that's it um what i love about it is if you do go ahead and purchase uh the the the, the full version i'm going to say it's about 30 I think it's $37 a year, but it gives you a pen. Um, that's mainly the big thing because you, you want and can write into uh, and leave note behind. If I'm thinking about the Emsworth, uh, I even, oh, it's too bad. I, I don't think you guys will be able to, if I'm trying to angle this. Oh yeah, see? So what I did is the grid, I put colors everywhere. So, because sometimes for me, the SSK, the two together, this is a symbol that it's hard for me to remember. Uh, I know that this one's the SSK, this one is two together, but when you're looking fast, it's easier if I put a color uh, onto that little square. So this way, when I do that, it's easier to the eye and when I'm reading the chart, it goes uh, faster. And I can leave note also in there, I can mark anything, I can, yeah, it's cool. And on the side, there is one, two, three, four, five. There's six different row counters. So if you're doing lace and you know you need to have seven repeats, well, you can, you know, start your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One repeat done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two repeat done. Um, yeah. So honestly, very good tool. And again, that was suggested by um, a student that was coming and she sort of showed it to me. And at first, I just took the free version. It's called Knit Companion and played with it and then decided, do I want more? Do I really need that pen? And you can write directly onto the iPad with your finger or use, you know, any pen. You don't have to have an Apple pen if something is, you know, you don't want to invest. Um, this is not an Apple pen. It just, instead of using my finger, I use this, right? So technology is a lot better now that you don't need to buy, 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 buy to be able to uh, get to your end. Okay, on that note, I wanted to tell you the trick of the day was about this guy. We need to pick up stitches. I think I told you, but just in case. So what I love to do, I don't remember by heart. So let's just say that we need 64 stitches. So I would, um, uh, from here to here, so this would be half. So then we would go, this is my 32 stitches mark. But sometimes this is way too long because you can pick 32 here and then it's like, oops, oops, got to redo it again. So why not just fold it in half, put an extra do that, then put it in half again, another do that. So this is a lot better too for yourself to think that, oh, I need to have eight between one do that and two do that right? Instead of, oh, I need 64 into the, uh, well, it would be 32 into this whole length, right? So trick of the day, use you do that, right? Like they're so fun. They lay everywhere. If you put your hand in your couch, I'm sure there's some in there. If there's some in the floor, there's some in there. So you always find to do that anywhere. Okay. I'm wearing my, um, I always say bonfire, which is not it. It's Wildwood from, um, Andrew Maori. Just love this guy very light very it, it's all made with fingering and i do love shawls so anyway on that note happy father's day to all the fathers out there and uh yeah happy knitting i'll see you guys next week bye bye